I don't know how this lighting situation is looking, so I'm just trying something different so I can give you guys content in a different way. I don't know. Hey guys, it's here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So today, I have a shoe haul, so I figured I'll film it in a bit of a different way. That's why my background looks a bit different. I'm standing up, um, and I'll show you guys the shoes as we go along. So, a couple weeks ago, I was like, I'm going back into the office a couple days a week now. I need new shoes. The problem is, is I'm the person that my money needs to stretch. My money long, but it's not long enough, okay? I need to think of good ways to get cute shoes on a budget. So I thought, hmm, let me go hit up these like stores that sell shoes discounted. What are we looking at? What do they look like? And I came across Call It Spring. When I walk in to a Call It Spring, the shoes ain't saying nothing. They're not telling me nothing. I'm not seeing them anywhere. I'm kind of just like, what did I come in here for? So I was like, I'll just go online and see what they have. In-store was saying absolutely zero goose egg, nothing zilch. I went online and found five pairs of shoes that I liked. Not one, not two, not three, not four, five. There's no way I'm gonna like all five shoes. When they get delivered, I'll pick and choose and maybe keep like two. No way all five shoes are gonna be comfortable. I kept all five shoes. I've been wearing all five shoes for the past couple weeks. Love them. My total, I think, was just under $300. No, my total was over $300. It was $320.86 for five pairs of shoes. I got three sneakers, two pairs of boots. This is perfect fall shoe collection material. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put you guys on. It's really good, especially the sneakers. Surprised me, like shocked me. So we're gonna get into each pair. If you want to see me try on some shoes and discuss the pros and cons and how I'm feeling about these shoes, then just scroll down, hit that subscribe button, join the night G gang, 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 and let's get into this video. Okay, so shoe number one that I've been wearing the most are called Stride. They look like this. All shoes I got in a size nine, by the way. So this is Stride. This is what she looks like. She's just a basic white shoe. And I'll show you what she looks like on my feet. I'll have a clip, obviously, right now. Stride has become my everyday shoe. Not just for work, because I work in an office, so like these aren't like, oh, work shoes. But I just mean like they're just a cute little shoe to flex on them. Like it goes with everything, first of all, the color. And something I did not know about Call It Spring shoes, four pairs of the shoes have them. They have something called bed foam inside of them. Literally inside these shoes and all the shoes, which is why I could not return any of them, is a mattress, like a mattress for your feet. They are not, they're not joking when they say bed foam. Every single pair of shoes is soft on the inside and comfortable. Like the soles, guys, I kid you not. Like, I kid you not. I feel like I could run a marathon. That comfortable, that soft, like insane. So these boys are more so just like an everyday, even when I'm just wearing leggings, like if I'm going to the grocery store, if I'm going to the mall, these boys are perfect for that. So I love them. I love the color. I love the shape. I love how my feet look in them. And they were regular price, 50 bucks. It's a $50 sneaker. Where am I getting a $50 sneaker that does all that? And it's basically one of those like sock styles. So it fits to the foot really, really well. I probably could have gotten eight and a half in a lot of these, but I always just get nine because of socks. And I think of winter and sometimes I might want to layer them up, but love these. They're super light addicted to them. Shoe number two is called Fresh and she's basically an Air Force One ripoff. This is what she looks like. But I like that she's pink. Okay, let's talk about the color. She's an off pink, almost like, like my sweater nude. And I am obsessed because when you have a sneaker like this is basically like a platform, you can wear it with anything. So again, super soft and cushy on the inside. The color is perfect for like what my wardrobe is saying right now. So I absolutely adore that side of it. And these boys were $40. So love, 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 love these. Um, I don't wanna to talk too much about each shoe because I want this to be a quick video, but this is what they look like. And pretty, pretty standard. Not much you can say about a shoe that already exists. Next we have Aspen. Aspen is a plain black flash boot. I was gonna say shoe, boots. <laughs> and this does not say it has bed foam in it, but they're super warm, like the inside, not all the way through, but the sole is like fuzzy. So like it's warm in here and I love that. They have these with a higher heel, but I want to start with a flat heel and be practical because when I'm wearing boots like this, I usually just want to be able to be comfortable. So I do love these as they are. The only thing I don't like or that you should know is that this tongue does dig a little bit into your shin, especially when driving. 
when walking, I don't feel it as much, but I really feel it when I'm driving. So just be aware that this might not be the most comfortable thing, but I feel like if it's an ankle boot, what else are you gonna do? That's how they come. But yeah, that's Aspen and she's like perfect for like jeans, leggings, like literally everything. She just gives me a little bit of grunge vibes. I like that she's a little bit chunky. She's cute. Next pair of boots I got, Maxine. Can we talk about Maxine? I didn't even know Maxine had this silver trim. Probably could live without it because I feel like I already know that once we get into like anything wet, though this is a suede boot so it shouldn't get wet, but let's say it does, this is coming up. I love that the bottom though is like jelly and the color, like the color is like everything. Like, and she's chunky. Like I could have done with maybe like a little bit more heel on her. Would have loved that. She was $84.99 as well as with Aspen. So the boots are a little bit more pricey, but to be expected with boots. Maxine also has bed foam inside and a lot of like room elasticity at the back and just a cute boot for under $100. And I was just like, why have I not done this before? Lastly, we have Willow. Willow is a chunkier shoe and she has some brown and some green. You can get her in different colorways, like all neutral, all pink, but just based on what I had already had in my cart and I had Willow, I was like, I'll change this one up to have a bit of the green and be super, super neutral. I love this because it is the slightest pop of color that anyone could ever want. And it is perfect because my wardrobe is literally neutrals, browns, and greens. So obsessed with Willow. Again, they're just stupid, comfortable shoes, guys. Like that was the thing that really caught my attention was that every pair of shoe I put on was comfortable. I got five pairs of shoes for $320. I don't know what the math is on that, but make it make sense. If they're especially comfortable, I'm not playing that game of like name brand and whatever, just for everyday shoes. Like I am a person that goes to work every day. I need to be comfortable. And I also can't spend an arm and a leg on shoes that I'm wearing every day. Like, yes, a pair of Nikes will obviously last me a long time and I will definitely invest in sneakers when the time comes. But I found it surprising that I found shoes from spring as comfortable as like a pair of my Nikes. So that was kind of game changing to me. So I was like, wow, I could have bought one pair of Nikes for that price and they probably would have been comfortable. But I was able to get three pairs of sneakers and two boots. Can't argue with that. Like, like you really cannot argue with that. Anyways, I want this video to be short, so I'm gonna wrap it up. And again, I would suggest, like, highly recommend checking them out because I feel like they're almost slept on now, and that's what they're trying to prove is that, like, no, we're slept on. Like, we actually make pretty cute shoes, very comfortable shoes at a really good price, and they're, like, tired of the game. So I would check out Spring if I were you guys. I don't know if I'd recommend them for, like, wintry stuff, but definitely for stuff that's just meant to get you from here to there, comfort, good style, you know, on trend stuff, absolutely. But I don't know if I'd recommend like a durable winter boot for that, that you might need to, you know, spend a little bit more money and invest on something. But for everything else that I've had, I've had no problems. I've worn Aspen in the rain, no leakage, no nothing. I was warm, totally dry. So I think they have it in them. I just haven't tried it, so I can't recommend it. But as for these boys, 10, if I had 10 thumbs, I'd put them all up. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I did today. Leave that in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to me. You pay my bills, right? Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.